Rina Sabalenka versus Barbara Kudrykova is a second quarter final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Kudrykova started the tournament as the number nine seed and would take on the wild card Hontama in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 2 6, 6 4, 6 3. In the second round, she'd take on Corpatch. There's no problem getting through in straights 6 2, 6 2. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier Hunter, who had had an impressive road to get to this stage. And after dropping the first set, Kudrykova would have to fight back to win again, 4-6, 7-5, 6-3. In the fourth round, she'd take on the teen sensation Andreva, who had taken out Jabur in the second round. And again, after dropping the first set, Kudrykova would fight back to win, 4-6, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Seidel in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-love, 6-1. In the second round, she'd take on Brenda Fruvitova, another young phenom coming through the ranks. There's no problem for Sabalenka again winning in straights. 6-3, 6-2. 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on the 28th seed, Sharenko, who she'd played a few times before. And Sabalenka destroyed her, winning 6-love, six 6-love, six handing out the double bagel. In the fourth round, she'd take on Anissa Mova, who had taken out Bedosa and Samson over to get here. But again, Sabalenka looked too good, getting through in straight, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two have played six times before, with Sabalenka holding that 5-1 head-to-head lead over Krajikova, with Krajikova's only win coming in Dubai last year. But that was three matches ago, and Sabalenka has gone on to win Indian Wells Miami and Stuttgart when she's played Krajikova after having that one loss. Krajikova's going to win this one. She needs to bring back what she did in that Dubai match. She kind of went away from it and it looked like it was maybe after that match there was going to be a turning of the tide, but she went away from it and she kind of didn't keep doing that and I guess she called herself a big four member before she really was and Sabalenka maybe took that personal and hasn't given her a set or hasn't given her much back. So Krajikova's got to be aggressive. Got to move around. Got to come to the net because she has some really clean volley. Sabalenka's going to win this one. It's all about the serve and the forehand. We know that that is how she won the Australian Open last year with big serves, with big ground strokes. And it is a quarterfinal, but she's been here before. She wins quarterfinals. We've seen that all of last year. She won every quarterfinal that she made. It's only the semis and the final that became a problem at the end of the year, but she should be able to beat Krajikova if she can play aggressive and, and hit that serve. This is an interesting matchup because, you know, Krajikova did win in Dubai and it kind of did feel like maybe this is going to be good, but I reckon Sabalenka's got her number still and it's 5-1 in the head-to-head. I'm going to go with Sabalenka in straights. I reckon Krajikova might push Sabalenka in one of the sets, but I think Sabalenka gets her. It's just one of those awkward matchups for Krajikova. And I don't know if she's going to be able to get the win, but Sabalenka in two. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to make the semis?